hello everyone so in previous video we have understand like how actually we can create a azure data factory in this video we are going to understand about the azure data factory components like what is activity what is data side what is link service what is integration runtime and all so because if i'll show you in azure data factory you will see all this all the terminology like pipeline data set data flow link service and all so these are very much important so let's discuss one by one so let me take a simple example with that example let's try to understand suppose my requirement is like i have to create one pipeline which will copy a data from a blob storage to a sql server so that is the requirement i have now in this requirement if you will see my data that is already available in a blob storage in a csv file and i have to copy this data into the sql server so in this case if you will see blob storage where your data is already coming which is already available and from there you want to copy into the another space so that will become a source for you now in this case my source is the blob storage where you want to copy a data we want to copy a data into the sql server so that will become a sync for me so target one will become a sync and the source one from where actually you are taking a data now next thing is like activity so what actually we want to perform a task here we want to perform a copy activity because we have to copy a data which is available in a blob storage to the sql so for that i will use a copy activity suppose my requirement is like i have to delete a data that is available in a blob storage so for that i will use a delete activity so similarly in azure space we have a multiple activity already available you can see for move and transform we have a copy activity for the delete also we have another activity for the failure we have another activity like that the multiple activity are already available for the task so from a requirement perspective my data was available in a blob storage and i had to copy a data into the sql server so for that what actually i am using i am using a copy activity here so activity is nothing but the what task actually you want to perform now next is the data set so data set is nothing but a it will represent the location and the schema of your file so once you decided what task actually you want to perform the next step is to create a data set for your source and the target now in this case my what is my source my source is the blob storage so for that i will create a data set and what is my schema schema is csv file so for that i will select the csv file schema and i'll create the csv data set for the target also i will perform the same this will represent the location of my target i will create a data set here also this will represent the location of my file and the schema schema is table so i have created a table data set so data set will represent the location and the schema of your file so in this case you can see i have created a csv data set and the table data set now the next thing is the link service so if you want to access this blob storage so for that you should have a access you should have a linking credit credential so that actually we have to provide in a link service so what we will do we will create a link service we will provide a user name and the password so that we will be able to access our source and the server source and the target if you want to access the source and the target for that you should have a credential that credential you have to provide in a link service so link service actually help to connect with the source and the target i hope you got it so we discuss about the data side we discuss about the link service we discuss about the source and the sync now next thing is the triggers so once you will create a pipeline the next thing is the trigger so trigger will help to run your pipeline suppose you want to run a manually so for that we have a manual trigger manual trigger suppose you want to schedule your pipeline like weekly basis it should run so for that we have a schedule trigger suppose for a specific event base you want to run the pipeline for that we have a event trigger so this all the trigger will help to automate pipeline or to run the pipeline now next thing is the integration runtime so we have a three type of the integration runtime first one is the auto resolve auto resolve integration runtime now what is auto resolve integration so whenever your data and whenever your source and the target that is available in a same space like suppose my source is also available in a cloud azure cloud and my target is also available in a azure cloud in this case 
I will go for the order resolve integration runtime. But suppose my source is available in a on prem or you can say any private network and I have to move this data into the cloud. In this case, your auto resolve will not work. In this case, you will go for the self hosted integration runtime. Self hosted integration runtime. Auto resolve will work where your source and the target that is available in the same space like the same environment. Self hosted will work whenever both the things are available into a multiple uh, network like one is public one is private or uh, one, one private is another space second private is another space then you will go for the self hosted and the third we have is like SSIS so SSIS uh, related package we generally go for the SSIS integration runtime this we will discuss more when we'll do a practical but as of now you should understand what is data set what is link service do a practical in upcoming video and we'll understand more about this